YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty and this is my handmade lifestyle. Today I'm sharing a really cute and super simple DIY project. What I've done is painted these two clay pots with a simple stencil and I think it makes the potted plants look absolutely adorable. So I'm going to show you how I did that. The stencils I used in this video were sent to me from Stencil Revolution. I had never used any of her products and so this was my first time trying them out. I will tell you that the uh, version I used is actually for cookie decorating, but I think they worked out great for stenciling along the rim of the clay pots. I would suggest that you pick up two sets if you think you want to also make cookies. Having decorated cookies to go along with your decorated pots would be absolutely wonderful for Mother's Day or any birthday or a special sort of celebration. I was excited to do a stencil project because I used to do a lot of stenciling back in the 1980s. A lot of it, it was very popular back then. We stenciled everything. <laughs> so when the opportunity came up to work with Stencil Revolution, I was, um, I was excited about it and to see what I could uh, make with her products. So let's take a closer look at what I've got here. So when you come in close up, you can see that I've done a couple of designs on this little ponytail plant. And so what I wound up doing was I purchased my uh, plants and my clay pots at the nursery, and then I potted them up myself. I first painted them and then uh, let them dry overnight. This is the version of stencil I used. Uh, it's in the cookie section of cookie or baking section of the website. Uh, they're small, but I thought they fit perfectly on the rim of even the medium sized clay pot. Uh, so your stencil is going to look like this. It's like a really thick plastic. And then you will need a stencil brush. And this is what I picked up. And uh, this brush, here's the size. <clears throat> 16 millimeter crafter's choice. I just picked this up in my Joanne store. A stencil brush is round. It's got really compacted bristles at one end. And essentially what you're going to do is you're going to uh, just dip it into the paint. And then you're just going to, in a stippling motion, um, apply the paint to your stencil, just like that. That's the motion. And you want to make sure that you hold your uh, stencil flush to whatever it is you're applying the design to uh, or it's going to run and you don't really want a runny stencil that doesn't look great <clears throat> so just hold it really flush to your um, your project and you stipple your paint and it's really pretty simple and it dries very quick because you're using only the littlest bit of paint um, in the brush yeah, the paint I used was just leftover wall paint. Um, it was in one of those little sample jars. That worked. You could buy acrylic paint in the craft store. It's not super expensive. Um, any one of those things works fine. And once the paint dries, it does not run when it gets rained on or you water your plants. It's sort of a cool, magical thing, actually, <laughs> to paint your pots. Here you can see I'm applying the paint to the pot. Uh, it's like so super easy. Uh, you will love this project.
And that's really it for the project today. It's just that simple. Uh, you can dress up your finished uh, plant by putting a little something uh, like I've done with the rose for a top dressing. I thought with that plant the uh, dried moss looked really pretty and added a nice touch. I didn't feel like the ponytail plant needed anything extra because part of the charm of that plant is seeing those really cool uh, bulbs that sit above the, um, the soil. So, you know, use your judgment uh, when you top dress a plant. Try to pick something that really goes with the plant. Like if you went with a succulent, I would do rocks. I think that would look really cool with a succulent and play up the desert quality of a plant like that. But for the roses, uh, yeah, I thought the dried moss looked really nice. And you can just pick that up in the craft store. It's super easy to find. They might even have it in the nursery, depending on where you pick up your plants. I will tell you, this is a, this is a gardening tip. Um, with the mini roses, they really, really don't like to be kept in those plastic nursery pots for long. So, um, if you buy your roses a little bit early, go ahead and get them into the pot. They will be the final pot, like the clay pot. They'll be much happier. And go ahead and pot them up in a much larger size of a pot because they grow really fast. You will be surprised. And they definitely are going to want to be outside. So that's just a little gardening, a little gardening extra for you if you're interested in that sort of thing. Okay, that's really all I've got for you. If you have any questions, just drop them below. Uh, I think you're going to love this project and I think you're going to love the variety of stencils that are over on Stencil Revolution and I will link to her below. And I personally am so happy with the way the project came out. Uh, I do want to do um, some more things with her um, later on this summer so be looking for more and uh, in the meantime I'll just uh, see you around in the next video thanks for watching bye bye